right, guys. This is long overdue, and it's confession time. This is one of those videos where you feel like a total chump, but it has to be done. And that's because today I'm counting down five popular game series that I've never played, but probably should have by now. Let's do this. So before we dive into this one, I should note real fast that each of these games is widely known or otherwise popular in some way, and for whatever reason, I've simply never played it. As a kid, I almost never had any money, so I maybe would get three or four new games per year, and the rest of the time I would spend just playing and replaying the same games over and over and over again until I got really good at them and knew them really well. On the one hand, I could feel bad about this and bemoan my lack of experience with some of these franchises, but I personally think it'd be a lot more fun if you told me what games you've never played so we can talk about our shared lack of experience in some of these games. Use those comments to admit your indecency. <laughs> Number five on this countdown is Halo. I've never owned an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One, and I actually didn't own an original Xbox until sometime last year. So every game in the Halo franchise has whizzed right by me every single time. Really, when I think about it, the only time I've spent with a Halo game was right after Halo 3 came out. My friends and I got together and we spent a handful of hours playing local multiplayer, and I had a good time with it. But back then I sucked at first person shooter games even more than I do now. And for whatever reason, I was never intrigued enough by the game world to get pulled into fandom. Sorry, Chief. Number four is the Battlefield franchise. I almost put Call of Duty here, but then I remembered that back in college, I played through the campaigns of the first and second Modern Warfare games, and I did enjoy those fairly well. So since I couldn't use Call of Duty, I... Battlefield. When I take a moment to think about it, I realize that as I've gotten older, I've become less interested in military style shooters. So Battlefield and a lot of the games like it just really haven't intrigued me that much. I've literally never touched a Battlefield game. And if I'm speaking frankly, I may never. What? Number three. Lego. I really have no idea how I've not played one of these games by now because I actually own a couple of them. I'm really passionate about Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, which are a couple of their best known licensed properties that they've made games for. But yeah, I've played none of the Traveler's Tales Lego games. Not a one. I know that all those games are neither expensive nor difficult to play or beat, but for some reason it seems like every time I sit down and tell myself, yeah, I'm gonna try out this Lego game finally, I wind up either playing something else or not playing anything at all and doing something entirely different. One of these days it's gonna happen, but what can I say? I'm an idiot. We're getting to the nitty gritty. Number two on my list of shame is Minecraft. Ah! Originally released on PC in November of 2011, Minecraft is already one of the most well-known and heavily... Who am I kidding? If you don't know what Minecraft is at this point, you've been living inside of a 100-year-old duck egg. And wouldn't you know it, I haven't spent one second with it. To be fair, my curiosity about the world building and survival elements of the gameplay was peaked years ago, but I never felt motivated enough to buy the game for myself. Thankfully, several weeks ago, I actually bought a secondhand PlayStation Vita, and I was lucky enough to find on clearance a brand new copy of Minecraft for Vita. Technically, it's one of those downloadable game vouchers. There's actually no game card in here. But now that I actually have this game, I honestly do plan to give it a shot to see what the fuss is all about. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, the number one game franchise that I've never played. It's one that I've no doubt that you dedicated JRPG fans will gasp at and prepare to throw rotten fruit at my face, but I have never played Final Fantasy. Any of them. The closest I've ever gotten to playing one of the Final Fantasy games was actually Final Fantasy VIII, and it occurred on this Pizza Hut PS1 demo disc. There it is. Yeah, I'd pop this disc in and I would cycle through some of the demos and I would find myself coming back to Final Fantasy VIII and playing through that beach sequence where you kind of climb up the hill and you go fight a boss at the end. And I remember being really impressed by the cutscene graphics, but being super confused by who these characters are and what their motivations are. And what the heck is going on? After getting my fill of that demo, I sighed like a sloth, shrugged my shoulders, and haven't played a Final Fantasy game since. Before anybody freaks out, I genuinely do intend to give the series a shot one day. I have a number of the games in the series. I just want to do it properly and give it the time and attention that it deserves. Well guys, those are five massively popular games that I've never played. And now that I've confessed my gaming sense to you, I want to hear what games you've skipped or have missed out on altogether too. Special thanks goes to my buddy Retro Power Up for this. This was actually a tag on five game series that I've never played. And kind of like with my most recent other tag video, the half and half challenge, 
I'm not actually going to tag anybody for this one. It's been going around long enough that I'm not even sure who hasn't been tagged yet. So as I mentioned, let me know in the comments below what games you have never played that are really, really popular. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video today, guys. And if this was your first Cross Shop video and you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Thank you very much for hanging out at Cross Shop today. And as always, play heavy.